Bernie, thanks so much for joining us. You cover Roblox, and this is a company that for so many years people thought of as a game company, but in reality, we're realizing it's more of a metaverse company. What do you anticipate in the next year in terms of other companies trying to make money on this platform? Yeah, no, it's a it's a great point, and the metaverse is certainly ripe. Um, given the engagement, we always think monetization will follow. I mean, that goes back to the famous Mary Meeker charts dealing with you know internet usage and advertising dollars following as well too. Um, some of the other plays that um, I think in our coverage that are trying to monetize. One is Shutterstock. Shutterstock is actually the best performing group of our coverage this year. Um, but in that Mark Zuckerberg video where he's playing uh, cards, one of those um, one of those avatars is actually made by Shutterstock's Turbo Squid. So we think that's kind of a stealth metaverse play. And then Iron Source as well, um, as advertising comes to the to the metaverse, there's going to be mediation strategies. There's going to be user acquisition strategies. That certainly, I think, all those kinds of companies are going to be playing in. So talk to me about advertising coming to the metaverse. When I was in Decentraland, they were selling land, but they were also selling billboards. And in a couple of these different virtual worlds, it seems pretty easy to buy ad space. I mean, a virtual billboard is obviously different than a, a targeted web ad. But I'm wondering if you think that ad dollars are actually going to move into these worlds. Right now, Facebook doesn't have any ad opportunities in its, I'm sorry, Meta doesn't have any opportunities uh, in its if virtual platforms to advertise. Yeah, no, we we think they will. Um, and so right now, you mentioned it on the on the onset, but there's all these brands are evaluating a metaverse strategy. And the key takeaway for us from, or one of the key takeaways from the Roblox Investor Day a few weeks ago was their VP of Global Brands Partnership saying that every company is going to have a Rob, uh, have a Roblox strategy in three to five years. And we certainly think if engagement and DAUs track the way they think they we they will, um, we think that's going to be happening. So you're already seeing examples of this, whether it's Gucci Gardens, Nike Land. Um, and so those are, you know, that will be shifting the advertising opportunity within Roblox where games are just focused on how many Roblox can they acquire. That's a, you know, 2.7 billion this year, we expect Roblox on the platform to all of a sudden you're using Roblox and other metaverse platforms to see how many handbags, how many sneakers, how many HBO Max subscriptions you can sell. And all of a sudden that opens up the metaverse to the, to the broader digital advertising dollars where, where brands are deciding between should they put a dollar on Facebook or a dollar on Roblox? Uh, Bernie, let's play a little caveat investor, though. I remember 15 years ago editing magazine pieces about companies that were offering uh, ad inventory, buying and selling ads inside of console and PC games. There was an attempt at this back then, didn't really catch on. I also remember game consoles trying to pitch themselves as the living room hub more than just about games. They were supposed to be your streaming central, et cetera. All of them have pulled back from that to be mainly about games because, hey, there's a lot of money in games. I don't see myself as a grown-up going into Roblox to do anything. So what are the, the chances that this doesn't play out exactly as some of the optimists have sketched out? Yeah, John, it's interesting you mentioned that. So we launched on Roblox and we did two, two surveys. One of them focused on 18 to 24 year olds, because really the key for Roblox is continuing to age up. Um, the, the users on the platform, the majority of which were under 13 a few years ago, are now over 13, is the about 50 50 between usage and DAUs. So we wanted to ask 18 to 24 year olds about their, about their usage on Roblox. And the most interesting thing that we found is that social is what matters and what drives these platforms. Um, and if you look at consumer spending, as you move from eight to 12 year olds to 13 to 18 year olds, your screen time usage goes up about two hours or two and a half hours. And right now, social networks takes about half of that. Um, so that's really the opportunity here for Roblox and other metaverse platforms is to, as the social aspect improves, like voice becomes a bigger part of the Roblox platform and other investments that they're making to improve the platform, um, is that they can take some of that, that share and time spent. And therefore, we think that leads to monetization opportunities down the road.